Hi, my name is Rick Tomford. I'm the business development manager with Pepper and Fuchs, responsible for industrial display monitors. Often we get asked, what makes an industrial monitor industrial? Why is it that these monitors are so much more durable and frankly so much more costly than something I might buy at the consumer electronics store down in the corner? Well, the answer is quite a bit. And in the industrial sector, we really care about what those quite a bit things are. The first big difference has to do with the raw material that's on the inside of the monitor. We use industrial grade components to build an industrial grade monitor. Starting with the base LCD panel itself, we source our LCD panels from NEC Electronics and Sharp Microelectronics. And these panels come from the industrial portfolio, not from the consumer portfolio. Industrial as represented by a wider operating temperature range. Firstly, these monitors will start and run at a much colder temperature than a consumer grade monitor. All the way down through and in some cases below the freezing point. That has to do with the actual backlighting technology. And while it is fluorescent lamp technology, it will start and run at a lower temperature because they are industrial grade. More appropriately is at the top end. We will run to a higher ambient operating temperature than a consumer grade display. Specifically 50 and in some cases 60 degrees C Celsius ambient operating temperature. This is because the actual liquid crystal composition in an industrial panel will run at a higher operating temperature than a consumer grade panel. So we would expect to get continuous 24-7 operation at elevated industrial temperatures from an industrial grade monitor, whereas with a consumer grade monitor, you would not. You would expect it to fail. In addition to the better operating temperature parameters, a true industrial grade LCD panel is typically much brighter than a consumer grade LCD panel. 40 and 50 percent brighter in fact. Our 15 inch design features 500 nit lumen output as standard, very appropriate for a well lit industrial area. Further, a much wider viewing cone, both in the horizontal as well as in the vertical. And very importantly, true color through that entire viewing cone. An industrial grade LCD, even from the most steep angle, red is still red, blue is still blue, and of course, green is still green. Whereas with a consumer panel, we tend to get color shift as we move off angle. If we're doing an Excel spreadsheet at home at night, that's no big deal. But in process control, things like red and green mean things that are process critical. So we truly want to see those colors. And lastly, an industrial grade LCD panel has replaceable backlights because under 24-7 use, we would expect to exhaust the lifetime of the back lamps, want to change them for an inexpensive sum, and put the unit back into service. And certainly, we would not want to scrap it just because the lamps were worn out. In addition to the better quality LCD, there are a number of other industrial features that set apart industrial from consumer grade electronics. These have to do with the gasketing, full gasketing around the outside and the inside for true NEMA 4 protection. This has to do with type 2 zinc chromate on the back for corrosion protection. This has to do with gold plating on the connectors for corrosion protection. This has to do with intermediate cabling between the bulkhead connectors and the internal circuit boards themselves so we're not transmitting shock and vibration from the field into the unit itself. This has to do with the LCD being on a shock mount gasket so we get better shock and vibration performance. In addition to the better grade industrial components on the inside, Pepper and Fuchs is also the designer and the manufacturer of this technology. We employ design engineers on our payroll that are industrial designers that went to industrial design engineering school that do industrial design the way it's supposed to be done. We are not just brand labeling consumer technology from offshore and merely assembling it in a mechanical case. So, better industrial components, better design, better engineering. So what if you're the customer? Well, the so what has to do with the quality. We measure quality in the industry standard means mean time between failures or MTBF. Our mean time between failure is 550,000 hours. 
And that's dramatic for several reasons. Firstly, it's about forever. It's about 60 some years. More importantly, it's far greater than competitive manufacturers of industrial or consumer grade electronics. And that is, of course, because we use better grade material and better design engineering talent. So you, the user, are assured of getting a higher quality, more industrial device. Now we've talked about the wide product portfolio, 200 and some different models. We've talked about the great quality and the reliability and why we can expect these monitors to survive in a harsh industrial condition. The last piece of the discussion has to do with longevity of the product itself. As we all know, electronic technology moves along very rapidly. It seems every two or three months there's the new best thing that we need to have. However, as an industrial user, we expect to get five years, seven years, and sometimes ten years of life out of these products. Melding those two needs together tends to be quite a challenge, but fortunately, because we design and we control this technology, we're able to offer exceptionally long product life cycle within our industrial monitors. And specifically, that has to do with our internal design, our internal cabling, our internal mechanical structure that allow us to add new features to the product as they become available in the market, but yet retain the outward facing user attributes. And in particular, through the now 13 years of manufacturing history of these products, we have never ever changed an outer mechanical profile or bezel profile. We have never changed the cutout required in your control panel. We've never changed the mounting clip arrangement. We've never changed the cable connections. We've never changed anything in which you would use the product. We've added new technology. We've added brighter LCD panels. We've added on-screen menuing systems and different scaling algorithms. We've added USB, for example, as a touchscreen technology. We've added DVI as a video technology. But we've never taken away anything to the point where you could go back into the last millennium, back in the 1990s, and find some of the very early monitors, remove them from the panel, and reinstall a product that will be manufactured next month and expect to put it back in exactly the same hole, with exactly the same mounting, with exactly the same cable connectors, and have it work in exactly the same way. And further, because we don't change our top level part numbers, you're not only protected from a product perspective, you're protected from a bill of materials and often a process validation perspective where you don't need to re-engineer or redesign or redocument your process because of some change that we think you may have need to make. So, in summary, if you look at the entire portfolio, a very broad line of products, pretty much one to fit every application, a very industrialized product designed for the harsh rigors of manufacturing and process control with the industry's highest reliability, and a commitment for over a decade of product consistency and support, you, you really are with the right manufacturer in Pepper and Fuchs as a supplier for your industrial display needs. Thank you very much for listening.